Welcome to my latest life crisis. I know your first question is why? Why did you buy this? A few months ago when I went to Palm Springs, I left with more of an appreciation for design and architecture. It really got me thinking about how I'd like to create something of my own. So I started looking into all these unique styles of living, from mid-century homes to prefabricated homes, who wouldn't be a little bit intrigued by tiny homes, container ship homes, and then finally I stumbled upon Airstream homes. I was blown away by some of these before and afters, and I love that the mobility offered many different options for its use. And best of all, you could buy one of these for around $6,000. And so I found one on Craigslist the exact same day that I stumbled upon this idea of Airstreams, and I contacted the person, and they replied really quick. And before I knew it, me and my dad were in the middle of a junkyard in McMinnville, Oregon, signing the bill of sale on this shiny piece of junk. I feel like over the last year, every time I come to Oregon, it is for something crazy, weird, and exciting. Number one, getting the couch from Facebook Marketplace. Oh, that's right. Number two, getting my dog. And now number three, uh, maybe potentially, probably getting an Airstream. 31 footer. Huge. That is a monster. It's so big. It's really neat to take something old and reuse it there. On the way there, we've realized we don't know what to look for when buying a vintage trailer because these things are so old, there's so much wrong with them. What if we're buying one that just has so much wrong that it's so not worth the price? Like, we don't know. So we quickly were scrambling to read any article and listen to podcasts about what to look for, but the only thing I learned was like, they're all gonna have crazy problems and you're gonna get really overwhelmed. We went in very blindly. Uh, 400 more feet? Not seeing it. It's gotta be in here though. We've spotted it. It's way over there. That's it. You think that's it? I mean, it's the only Airstream. Look at that. It doesn't feel too big. I thought it'd feel way bigger. Oh, it's, it's big. It's inside there. roll with myself. Don't buy anything that if for some reason something bad happened to it, you would cry over it. Like if it's going to cause that much emotion, that probably means that maybe you can't afford it or it's just not a good risk to take on a purchase. So I really thought about it and I was okay with the idea of if this turned out really like a horrible idea, I would not shed a tear over this situation. I was okay with that. So we bought it. <laughs> Committed. Committed. <laughs> Okay, we're about to go off with this thing. That's right, you guys. Within 24 hours time, I was the proud new owner of a vintage Airstream trailer. And did I mention that before this day, I had never even been in one? Even though I didn't really know much about them and this was an extremely impulsive purchase, there's something about an Airstream that's so classic. Every man dreams of high adventure in faraway places of strange lands with curious customs. The open road is to him what the open range is to the wild Mustang. With an Airstream at your command, you can head for anywhere in the world. Airstreams are just one of those rare things that have withstood the test of time as people have been enjoying them for almost 100 years now. I think this is thanks to their flashy yet clean look that perfectly mixes style and functionality. Full disclosure, it is a 1975 Airstream Sovereign, so it is like 45 years old, and it costs $6,500. And when you kind of look at the outside, it's like, wow! That's pretty good, right? I got a whole 31 foot trailer for under $7,000. But let me take you inside. So welcome to my new home. As you can see, it's very cozy in here. Here's what we are working with. Here's the door, uh, no, no door handle and the door is actually broken. You can see it doesn't actually shut. So here we have our step. It's, it's hanging on by a thread probably. And here's our lovely screen door <laughs> opening into the Airstream. So watch your step. Mm -hmm. 
And here we have it. So this is the front right section. I believe this is the front. This is a really cool spot because it has all of these windows. I've seen a lot of renovations where people will put like U-shaped kind of couch thing with a table, which is really awesome. It's like a cool workspace idea. And then this is the door. And then over here is probably about 20 more feet of space. So yeah, it's just, it's empty, it's gutted. I believe the kitchen area used to be over here and the bathroom used to be all the way back there where all that stuff you can hook up is. And there's a nice little window out there, so pretty cool. But yeah, as you can see, there's just a bunch of garbage and stuff on the ground. There's still a lot of um, insulation still stuck on the wall. We really did not know what we were getting ourselves into, but we knew that we didn't know what we were getting ourselves into. I mean, it's, we, we have a lot to we learn. We don't, we don't know how to do that stuff. No. And we were tasked with our first obstacle of backing this thing into the perfect position up in my parents' backyard. Teddy does not like the airstream. <laughs> Good morning, airstream. Day one, our first task we need to accomplish is getting this thing up this hill over here, up this hill and into this back driveway area, which is gonna be a really good spot for it to hang out. So weird buying something that just doesn't even have a like lock, you know? I don't know how we are gonna get all these stickers off. That's gonna be a task. I don't think he can hear me. Wow, look at that. Oh my gosh. Come back another foot. About all I, got. I mean, it's there and it's up. Okay. I'm betting it's gonna break. Yeah, <laughs> I kind of bet too. Okay. Tongue. It's called the tongue. Done. That'll be an interesting fast motion video. Yeah. I didn't Ooh. know if that dolly would hold. But it did. It's just gonna leave me hanging. The next morning, reality really sunk in and we both looked at the thing and we're just like, where do we even begin? It's not like building a house. There's no go-to guide. It is like similar to an aircraft in structure. Aluminum used in the Airstream fuselage is Alclad, the same aluminum used in modern jets. We don't know what to do. So we started doing the only things that we knew how to do. Okay, time to get to work. Okay. Layout where they had like not a partition. Ah, Have we even opened this one? It's pretty nice. This is what you get when you order from eBay. Hurry up! I know it's so hard. Oh. Here it is. There it is. It's blue. We're not like ruining it, right? Whoa! It will definitely be expensive. Ew. You can see it's just falling apart. Yeah. Backed it up right there. Okay. Yeah, all the way. OK, 
Okay, here's the belly pan, which is just like the underneath part. The back of the Airstream just gets rusted and really messed up. I don't like the idea of wasting my life inside and just not learning new things. So I'm so thankful to have this as something to learn from. Not being able to travel and meet new people and learn new things, discovering the world can kind of make you feel like you have no sense of purpose. And for me and my dad, luckily this has been something that has been giving us something to do, something that gives us purpose. And hopefully when we all come out of this, we'll have this thing done and we have something to show for this time where we were stuck inside.